And it's for a new life. Yeah. What up, kings, queens, prince, and princesses? Welcome to another day of vlog. What up, y'all? I am starting my money off. It is. 10 for tattoo. I don't know what's been going on, but lately I can't stay to sleep no more. I don't know why. I don't know why. I ain't go to sleep till about 5 o'clock in the morning in this 10 for tattoo. I used to stay asleep longer than this, but I'm starting my morning off. I'm about to go get an oil change. Right, chill, right, chill, right, chill. It don't look like it's too many cars. Hopefully that's all the cars right there. I need to be getting there, but I stopped so I can vlog with y'all. Hopefully nobody come and get before me because I should have been in there already. But I want to show y'all everything I'm doing today. Today, today, today. Y'all just got to wait and see. But I'm starting off getting the oil change. Let me go. Let me go, go, go. Let me go, go, go. Let me go, go, go. I don't know what to go, go, go. Oh, change. I don't know how much it is. Because I didn't look it up before I came. All right, now. Nah. All right, now. Nah. All right, now. Nah. They coming, now. Nah. They coming, now. Nah. Hello. Oh, I can't get an oil change. Okay, has it been here before? No. No? Oh, change. Open your door for me real quick. Oh, yeah, because I ain't loyal. Yeah, because I ain't loyal. And everybody saw you and ain't that a... What up, y'all? It's been about an hour. Hour, hour, hour. Just got the oil change and the tire rotation. We needed a tire rotation. That crap was $83. $83. I say this stuff here more expensive. When I got an oil change back in Temple, I think it was like $40 something dollars, $40 something dollars, $50 dollars after taxes. Here, you spending a good sixty dollars for the oil change, and normally, like when you pay like sixty dollars, you get the um. I think that this is the one, cause we don't get the one. Like when them people be advertising like the twenty dollar oil change, I think we get. I forgot. I don't know, but um, eighty three dollars. But I came to. I came to Dollar Tree. Yeah, this is Dollar Tree because we've been having problems with our shower at the bottom because of the kind of material it is. It's like it's holding the dirt and all that stuff in it, and it's like it's hard to clean it. I, I don't think I tried. I cleaned it before, and it worked. And it's like, I don't know, it's not. My wife, she tried to clean it just recently, and it's not working. So I decided... Well, I watched a few videos on YouTube and I seen some people, they go to the Dollar Tree and they get certain stuff. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. And then I'll let y'all know. I'll probably record that too. I'm going to be trying it as well. But I'm going to see if this works. So I'm here about to do this. I was about to go get a car wash after I leave here. But I don't know if I'm going to do it yet because it's about to rain. So it's like it's gonna be a waste of car wash, but the only thing like we can get out of it is get a vacuum. Well, do we really need a vacuum? Do we really? We need one over here. I know that. But I don't know. It could probably hold off for a few more, but let me go in here and get all this stuff. What they said. What they said, what they said. They said, I remember the video. They said I need some Dawn detergent. I need some vinegar. I need this scrubbing brush thing. And I believe that's it. I believe that's it. I believe that's it.
this is not the actual one that the lady had. She had one where you can put the detergent and the vinegar in it and I guess it just keep coming out by itself. I don't see that one nowhere. So I'm gonna just have to get that one. Yeah, I don't see that one. Yep, I just have to get that one. I think I'm about to have to go somewhere else. I found everything but the white vinegar. She told me it was on this aisle, but I only see apple cider vinegar, apple, apple cider vinegar in this vinegar right there. I don't see the white vinegar. So I think I'm about to put all this stuff back and then go right across the street to Walmart. Cause I don't see it. I had done brought the camera. I ain't even vlogging now. But I got the white vinegar at Walmart. I'm about to head home now. What up, y'all? I made it back to the house. When I first got back here, I was tired, so I took me a three-hour nap. And then I just got up from my nap and I started, I'm drinking a smooth, I mean a juice that my wife did. Oh, I ain't tell you, I'll tell y'all about that later, but I'm in here about to do the shower. Take a look at this. This is what I was talking about. We got to get this cleaned up. So. I don't have a spray bottle, so I'm going to just pour it inside of here. All right, done. I'm gonna pour it inside of here, and then once I finish doing the mixture, that's why I bought the spoon. I'm gonna just pour it all on the stuff, let it soak for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna do another one, pour it on there again, and then get the scrubbing. Hopefully it come up. Y'all, let y'all know if it do come up or not. Since it ain't go everywhere, I'ma like agitate it a little bit so I can get all in the spots and then hopefully it can soak like that. Let that sit, hopefully. 
is to do his magic while I'm gone. What up, y'all? I just finished. My name is Dominique Royal, and I approve of this cleaning method. Check this out. All clean. So, I know what to do now. Vinegar, Dawn dish soap, right there. Mix it up, spray it around. I don't really need no bottle. I'm just keep pouring it like I poured it. Agitate it, let it sit for 20 minutes, and let it come right up. I will say, this scrubber thing right there, it don't get it all. I needed one of these little Brillo pad thing is right there. And this is what really got it. So you probably can really just get away with just this. Probably gonna throw that away. But so you don't need to scrub a thing. Just get like a Brillo pad and you'll be good. And just that, it'll do it away. But I will say that vinegar is stank, so I got a candle going inside of here. But it really do clean it. I like the outcome. Clean that. And I clean this and the shower head. When I clean the shower head and the little knob thing with it, with that little mixture, it left like a little cookie stuff on it. So I had to go with clean it with like bathroom cleaner. So I went over it. So I won't advise cleaning the shower head and stuff with that. Just get your regular bath cleaner to clean that. But we off to a good start. It cleaned it. Check it out again. It's just a little dirt and stuff from coming around the water. To get that just that little bit right there. Y'all probably can't see it, but it's clean. 